Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and you know I'm feeling better. <laughs> I've been cooking up a storm. That's uh, my chili Colorado that I made. It'll be uh, used for some delicious meals here pretty soon. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, I watched a video from SJ Cooks. Uh, Sal over there, he marinated a... He did St. Louis ribs in some uh, Italian dressing. And I already had baby back ribs that I was going to smoke anyway just to have... And hey, since he did that, this is just a small little rack of baby backs. I am going to go ahead and portion these out into three different portions. You know, four or five bones a piece. I'm going to get this in a uh, Ziploc bag with the... Uh, I've got some uh, zesty Italian that I'm going to marinate overnight. And then we're going to drop this in the smoker. He told me his wife... This is his wife's favorite way to have ribs now. With the uh, zesty Italian overnight marinade and then uh we'll smoke them up tomorrow put some sauce on them and enjoy them so here's one of them here's how i'm going to prepare these these baby backs are out of the pack uh yeah normally i cut this off for right now i'm going to leave it because i'm going to marinate that with it and uh my first bone is like right here it's a little one one two three four one, two, three, four, and that leaves me one, two, three, four bones. So four bones each in this. Uh, first thing I want to do, though, I do want to get the uh, membrane off of here. And with baby backs, it's usually pretty easy. You just go on top of a bone, get a butter knife or something under there just to get it started so you can get your finger underneath there. St. Louis, you usually need to use paper towels, but baby backs usually just come off just as easy. All right. All right, so. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And that leaves me one, two, three, or, ah, there's another bone right there on the end. Totally fine. Okay. And hopefully these three pieces will fit in a gallon Ziploc bag. Sure they will. So I'm just going to throw these in here for now. This is so difficult, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to add the uh, Zesty Italian. I already took the lid off. I already shook it up real good. And I am going to use this whole bottle because I really don't need it for anything else. Okay, make sure you get the marinade all over them and then zip it shut. Get out as much air as you can. You can use a vacuum sealer if you want. And uh, there we go. These are going to marinate all night and we're gonna toss these in the smoker tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. All right, these baby backs have been marinating overnight so like sal i'm just going to put some salt pepper garlic on here both sides and we'll get them out i'm going to use the brisket brisk it pellet grill today at 225. Uh, sal went 250 on his weber I, I like doing 225 because uh, it gets me a nice usually gets me a nice smoke ring so we'll get these uh seasoned up and get them out on the pellet grill Brisk it is up to temp. Let's get these ribs in there. Let's set these in here and we're gonna let them go at 225 for about two to two and a half hours. Okay. It is that easy. All right, we'll be, I'll be back. Right, we'll be going uh, two and a half hours at 225. And now I'm gonna wrap these up or attempt to. Look at that. It's got some good color in it. Okay. So, if I can do this without the wind blowing my foil away, I will uh, get each piece and wrap them. Okay, we've got each packet wrapped up. I'm going to go about an hour and a half. I'm going to turn it up to 250. about an hour and a half. Okay. Hour and a half wrapped. Let's get a look at these. Oh 
yeah, look at that. That looks pretty darn good. Okay, so, okay, now since I've got these in individual uh, servings, that allows me to try different sauces. I don't know if you've ever been to the stores lately, but a couple of them around here have these little tiny bottles of Blue's Hog uh, barbecue sauce. Some people have seen them in the background of, in my kitchen and asked what they were. So this is original Smoky Mountain and Champions Blend. So guess what we're doing? Yep, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna do original over here. This little guy here, we're gonna use the Smoky Mountain. Okay, so we're gonna let these go for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. I got a tray out here and just so I don't mess it up, this is the order that I uh, put the sauces in. So I will take them off in that order. Okay, this one here is the Blues Hog Original. The Blues Hog Smoky Mountain. And the Blues Hog Champions Blend. All right, there you go. Look at those. Those look amazing. Remember, they're marinated in uh, Italian dressing. So let's just get these inside. I'll take a rib of each and we'll do a taste test. They are inside. I got some nice pullback on these. Again, I have them in order. So let me cut into these. All right, Champions Blend. It's all right, look at that. Man, that looks good. All right, this one here is Smoky Mountain. And the original Blues Hog. that remember these were marinated okay let's give them a try there you go let's do the uh let's do the original first now remember uh these were marinated overnight in uh italian dressing and this was uh, the idea of uh, salad sj cooks go over and check out his channel he's got an awesome channel anyway uh i mean i've heard of you know, you doing your chicken in Italian dressing, marinating it and cooking it, and it's incredible. And he did it with the ribs, and he said that it is his wife's favorite, like I said. So I had to give it a try. And then I had these Blues Hogs uh, barbecue uh, flavors. So, you know, hey, I got three different individual racks out of that uh, rack of baby back ribs, and that's one reason why I wanted to split them up. Here we go. The original. Right off the bone. Hmm. Okay. The marinated rib and Italian dressing, I can actually taste that. That's pretty good. Hmm. Very tender. Now, Sal did his at a Weber. I did these in the, uh, in the brisk it, a uh, pellet grill. So give these a try in a pellet grill. Man, that, it does have a different taste. It's a good taste. And I'm using the original uh, Blue's Hog barbecue sauce on these. Hmm. Great idea, Sal. All right. This one is the Smoky Mountain. Still marinated. Hmm. 
not as a barbecue-y <laughs> as the original, but it's pretty tasty. Smoky Mountain. Hmm. I think marinating these gave these just a little bit of a different texture. But man, they're delicious. All right. And this is the Champions blend on the barbecue sauce. Look at that. Hmm. All right. As far as the barbecue sauce goes, the Champion blend is good. But honestly, I like the original. The original is really good. The smoky blend, we get a whole lot of smoky flavor, but it was good. But then again, I just had the original before that. So anyway, I'm sure uh, when I reheat these to try them, they're going to taste a little bit different. But right now, I'm going to go with the original. Hmm. But that marinade, <laughs> you got to give this a try. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Sal, for the idea. I mean, when I saw you do that, I'm like, well, I got to try that. I've done it with chicken for I don't even know how many years. Never with ribs. Now I have. You're right, Sal. They are delicious. Fall off the bone. So good. Anyway, next time you guys make ribs, give it a try. I think you might like it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.